Hello everyone. Welcome back. This is part 4 of matrices. In this session, we will discuss how to perform multiplication of matrices. In the previous session, we have discussed addition and subtraction. So please refer to previous parts of the tutorial in order to understand addition and subtraction. So in order to perform multiplication between the two matrices, say A and B, the condition is number of columns in A should be equals to number of rows in B. Say if a matrix A is of the order M by N and matrix B is order of N by P, then only we can say that the multiplication of these two matrices is possible as columns in matrix A is equals to rows in matrix B. N. So we can say that multiplication between these two matrices is possible. If I say for example, if A is 2 by 2 and if B is matrix of 1 by 2, then is it possible to have multiplication between these two matrices? No. If you look at here, number of columns here are 2 and here it is 1. So we can say that AB does not exist. And one more point to remember here is if matrix A is order M by N and B is order of N by P, then the resulting matrix AB will be the order of M by P. Say for example, A is 2 by 2 and B is 2 by 3. Then the resulting matrix AB will be 2 by 3. These two points we have to remember while performing multiplication of matrices. The first most important point is multiplication between the two matrices is possible when columns in A is equals to rows in B. Now let us see how to perform multiplication between the given two matrices. Say we have a matrix of order 2 by 2 and one more matrix B of order 2 by 2. Then we can say that AB exists which is the order of 2 by 2. Right? Then how to obtain the resultant matrix A, B. So which is represented by, we have to take first row of the matrix A. It should be multiplied with first column of matrix B. So here the elements will be first row multiplied with first column of B. And this is of A. And second element will be first row of A multiplied with second column of B. Similarly, second row A multiplied with first column and here second row of A multiplied with second column of B. Let us understand this by considering one simple example. Say we have a matrix 1, 4, 5, 3 and matrix B as 2, 3, 5, 6. If you look at here, this is 2 by 2 matrix, this is 2 by 2. So we can say that multiplication is possible. So in order to obtain AB, first consider first row of matrix A that is here. So 1, 4 should be multiplied with 2 and 5. So let us write that. 1 into 2 plus 4 into 5. First row with second column that is 1 into 3 plus 4 into 6. Similarly for the second row, 5 into first column, 5 into 2 plus 3 into 5. And second row, second column. So which is given by 5 into 3 plus 3 into 6. So this will be equals to 2 plus 20 which is 22. Here 3 plus 24. So it is 27. Here 10 plus 15 which is 25 so 15 plus 18 it's 33 so like this we will calculate product of two matrices let us solve one question based on product of matrices let us look into question number one here we have to find out a b and b a we have to check whether a b is equals to b a so here it's a 2 by 2 matrix so we can say that matrix multiplication is possible so first we'll calculate a b so which is given by first row first column so it will be 2 into 5 plus 3 into 1 first row second column 2 into 2 
plus 3 into next second row first column 1 into 5 plus 4 into 1 1 into 2 second row second column plus 4 into 3 so which is equals to here it's 10 plus 3 13 4 plus 9 it's 13 5 plus 4 9 2 plus 12 it's 14 similarly let us calculate BA so BA means first we have to consider B so 5 2 1 3 should be multiplied with 2 3 1 4 so first row that is 5 comma 2 multiplied with 2 comma 1 so 5 into 2 plus 2 into 1 similarly 5 into 3 plus 2 into 4 next second row that is 1 3 should be multiplied with column that is 2 and 1 so 1 into 1 1 into 2 plus 3 into 1 second row second column so it will be 1 into 3 plus 3 into 4 so this will be equals to here it's 10 plus 2 it's 12 15 plus 8 23 2 plus 3 5 3 plus 12 it's 15 right if you look at here ab is not equals to ba so therefore we can say that multiplication of matrices is not commutative right in next session we will solve questions based on operations of matrices please subscribe to our channel for latest updates thank you for listening and have a nice day